Hey everybody, Rick Needham handicapping thoroughbred racing from Parks Racing in Salem, Pennsylvania on Sunday afternoon, July the 17th. And this is my day at the track.com race of the day. Let's take a look at race 8 this afternoon, folks. 3.22 p.m. Eastern Post Time. Five furlong sprint on the turf. Phillies and mares, three years old. An up race for an allowance purse of some $47,000. Contenders number five, wink for free. Number two, Shaley's. Number four, Pink Hero, and number seven, Larissa. Number five, Wink for Free, is the overall pace profile leader in this allowance field. Today, sprinting at her about five furlongs on the turf, has hit the board in each of her last five with four of those efforts, including a win in her fifth race back, also qualifying as power runs. Jockey Ken Carmouche and trainer Juan Carlos Guerrero send him her postward this afternoon. They've whacked the tote board with impressive 74% of nearly 150 entries saddled as a team to date. Number two, Say Shelley, a 9-2 shot, qualifies as a power pony, drops in class by 10 units as the overall speed leader in this field. Race 8 summary, number 5, Wink for Free, tops my contenders list, which also includes number 2, Say Shelley's. Number four, Pink Hero, and number seven, Laresa. That's five two four seven in the eighth today from Parks Racing. A couple of bonus long shots for you to ponder on Sunday afternoon. Let's go to Charlestown. They race in the afternoon uh, on Sundays in the evening during the week. Race seven, number five, Rascal Cat, six to one on the morning line, drops in class by a whopping seventeen Trackmaster units. The overall speed leader in this claiming field, racing at or about today's distance of eight and one half furlongs on the dirt. Colonial Downs in Virginia, race five, number six, Heart Folly, a four to one shot, qualifies as a power pony as the speed leader in this claiming field, racing at or about today's distance of eight and one half furlongs on the turf. So handicapping from Parks Racing, also known as Philadelphia Park on a Sunday afternoon, Rick Needham for dayatthetrack.com, reminding you as always, the police bet with your head, not over it.